This is my sweet basil. It's, as you can see, it's getting ready to go to seed, so I really need to harvest it. Um, when I harvest basil, I don't cut it all the way down like I did for the catnip. I'm only gonna cut it halfway down um, because it will keep growing and I'll cut it all, I'll cut it like right here to the top of like the next small leaf, gro leaf growth. Um, and that way I can like harvest basil two or three times this summer. I also take a lot off of it to use fresh, like when we make pizza and stuff. Um, but there's a lot and I need to harvest it um, before it goes to seed. So just even using it in daily, like cooking, like not daily, like maybe twice a week we use it. Uh, there's still plenty that I need to harvest, otherwise it'll go to waste. So on basil, you can either freeze it, um, you can dehydrate it, and um, yeah, that's about it. Freeze it or dehydrate it. <laughs> um, I've done both methods. I pre prefer the dehydrating, and um, when you do dehydrate the leaves, they're only good for about a year. I've tried to keep them for two years and the second year they just lose all smell, all, all taste and just are pretty bland. Um, and then if you leave them in the freezer too long, they get freezer burn. So um, I'll only harvest like once to preserve for the winter because like one big jar is enough for us to use until next season. So cutting, cutting wise, like I will go to like right here. So basically halfway down. I'm just cutting it halfway down because I'm also probably gonna make pesto the next next batch when it gets tall again. I'm just basically cutting it now because otherwise it's gonna go to seed. And if it goes to seed, it starts to get bitter. Um, so where are we, there we go. So I'm gonna do both plants. Here is my basil trimmed back, and this is sweet basil. Um, as you can see, this plant looks a lot better than this plant. These seeds I got from Dollar Tree. I will never buy seeds from Dollar Tree again. It just doesn't look as good as like the seeds I had on hand that I bought from some seed place online. I bought from several. I don't have a sp specific online seed store I like. I just pick a store that specializes in seeds. So I thought I would give Dollar Tree a try and this basil is just not growing. I've actually picked off a bunch of dead leaves. It's just not as growing as good as this. So this is a sweet basil. I just mentioned it because there's many types of basil. Um, I did sweet and Italian last year. My, my husband doesn't really like Italian. He prefers sweet. So this was why this year I only did sweet. Um, so yeah, this uh, and they will grow some more and I should get two or three more harvests out of it, um, which I will just, maybe make some pesto dishes because dehydrating this bowl should be enough um, for us for winter. So um, next step is I am going to take the leaves off the stems and then I will throw away all the bad ones and I will rinse them um, before I dehydrate them because, um, you know, I just feel better about cleaning them um, because I do use a little miracle Grow fertilizer. You know, there's bugs and stuff. And like say catnip, I don't worry about the catnip. I don't rinse it. Um, but basil, yes, I will rinse the leaves. I will let them air dry for a couple of hours and then I will put them in the oven um, to dry out. Yes, I will dry my basil in the oven. I could have used, I could use my dehydrator, but it takes longer. And I, I use the oven method for uh, most of my spices. The cats are trying to decide if they like basil or not. I'm sorry, it's not catnip. You're not going to like it. I know you wish it was catnip. <laughs> they remember catnip from the other day. Sorry to disappoint you, boys. It's basil. So I'm just cutting off the good leaves with scissors. You can pull them off. I just prefer cutting. As you can see, there's a lot of bad leaves. Um, I don't spray for bugs or anything. Sometimes I use soapy water to get rid of bugs, but for the most part, I just do natural. And then also it's been really hot. And so that's why they're a little more brown than normal, but um, just cutting off the good ones halfway there. All right, here is all the leaves that I cut off. I'm gonna soak them in water for a couple minutes, rinse them off. Here's another cat, Nutmeg, join the party. You know, you got Sage. You're supposed to be scared of this. Get off the counter, Sage, get off the counter. Thank you. You can sit on the bar stool, you cannot get on the counter. All right, 
now I'm going to rinse this. <laughs> and they're very disappointed it wasn't um, catnip. I'll give you some catnip later, okay? Is that okay? What do you think? Do you want some catnip? All right. It's been about two hours with my basil air drying. It's still a little wet, but I'm gonna stick it in the oven now. My oven is set at 200 degrees because that's the lowest temperature my oven is. Um, a lot of um, online recipes recommend 100, 175 degrees. My oven's lowest temperature is 200. So I do it at 200. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes because my basil is a little wet and I have overloaded the trays. So everyone's oven is different. I just recommend check your basil like at the 10 minute mark and then the, the every five minutes after. You want it to be crunchy. You don't want any moisture left in it whatsoever. Basically you wanna be able to like pick up a basil and so dry that you can just crumble it into powder. Here's the basil, completely tried. Um, now I'm gonna put it in a jar. I do not crunch it up until I use it. It just lasts, the flavor lasts longer. So let me get it in a jar. <laughs> 